Hey guys, Punk's my name here. Um, I'm just doing a series of quick introductions to some of the new updates to Moho 12. Um, and we can follow up with more sort of project based stuff later, I guess. But um, one of the major updates is the new Bezier curve inclusion. And what that means is that now we have um, control over points um, and their individual curvature and direction. So Previously, we had this much control. We could either make a point curved or peaked, or somewhere in between, but essentially it would change symmetrically. I'm just going to change over to 11 here. Same thing. Okay, so if I was to move one single point and then change its curvature, that's about as much control as we had. And if I wanted to create a more complex shape, I would have to add points, I would have to make this curved, and it would all, like, in order to make this more circular, I'd have to do that, and then it would, you know, it gets a bit fiddly. Now, in the new Moho 12, we have control over these Bezier handles. So, with while you can see them, this is what was happening under the hood before. It's kept symmetrical. Um, but now we have the ability to rotate um, both together and individually the, the control points on either side of a point. So if I hold down Alt, I can easily do this without affecting this side of the curve. Change this shape as I want it. And um, there you go. It's still four points. And we have a much cleaner shape than we did when we were trying to do it in Anime Studio 11. So you can show and hide them during while using the move tool, but as you can see, especially when you get more points, um, because these handles are very similar in style to the points, it can get confusing, uh, especially in a more complex shape as to what you are moving. So you can actually move um, the Bezier handles in the move tool, but I prefer not to. I hide that, use the move tool as a move tool, and then if I just hold down C, I can temporarily change these Bezier handles, and then as, as I let go of C, it goes back to the move tool. So that's um, a really useful way of changing between tools, and you can do it with any tool, and apparently you could, you could have done that for a few generations of Anime Studio now, but I, I just wasn't aware of it, so that's a top useful tip um, that you can quickly just change into and out of different tools. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, one of the nice side effects of this means that um, if I just go back to having a circle, if I was to hide or let's say delete one of these curves, you'd still see a really nice circular shape. I'll delete these. Um, whereas in in 11, that was not the case. Um, if we have the circle and then we delete one of the sides, it would just muck up because it, it would it's trying to um, approximate that, um, but only using those symmetrical um, effects. So without adding more points to reshape this into the correct shape, um, it just wasn't possible to do what I'm doing now. Um, so doing this again, same thing. Doing that, you'd get two flat lines because it doesn't have the information that I want these curved, even though they were originally curved. Um, so a few other little things to do with that is that you can now split, um, and because of the clean new way of using Bezier handles, this is actually, you can see that it has created the handle in order to make this curve in exactly the same way. Another um, new functionality for the vector tools is that you can now weld overlapping shapes together and cut, cut them away from each other or to add to each other, kind of a Boolean operation. If you go into here, select all the points and weld crossings, you see the points have been added where they cross. And um, if I go and just delete the points that I don't want to be part of the shape. Now this has become a shape, a single shape that I can fill. And that wasn't ever possible before. Um, so moving on to the drawing tools quickly, what I'll do is show you in here the freehand options. This point reduction here 
Um, I'll set it as zero at the moment, which means it will work a lot more like Anime Studio 11 did. If I just draw a shape here, if I show the points, it's just ridiculous. And it's, it's really difficult to animate this because there's just so many points. Um, you may as well, if you're going to have this many points, may as well just use Photoshop to create um, raster images and, and animate them that way. But we have a new function here, which is the simplifier's got um, a simplification level. If I click on that, you see how it's actually kept the shape it, that was the only selected shape. Let's undo that. As well as it can, it will keep the shape, but look how fewer points there are, and that's on a setting of 50. If I go to the drawing tools, this is now built into the drawing tools. So if I put that on 50, uh, smoothing's down to zero, and I draw the same, well, try to draw roughly the same shape. You see, drawing is so much cleaner, and... Um, just generally better. Um, so yeah, that's updates to the drawing tools. Um, so this is a lot better for frame by frame than it used to be. Um, and now you can auto weld as well. And that will auto trim the start and end. So as they cross over, I don't know how useful this is. It's sometimes, oh, look, I made a Gandalf hat. Um, you can, you can, uh, it's easier to just do it manually uh, to a certain extent. You still have a lot more control and still, you know, this, this has got a lot of points here, but you can get rid of them and just correct it with the Bezier tools, um, which is, so that's it for now. Hope uh, that was useful and let me know if you have any questions. Cheers.